Hi everyone, so for today's video, this is not my September book haul video, even though uh, I want to try decreasing uh, my book haul videos, but in the case of this month, of course I have to do this because as I mentioned in my UK vlogs video, this will be the last part of my UK trip videos and this is to talk about all the books that I got in uh, in my UK trip, including in London, in Birmingham, and then uh, at Worldcon, and yeah. And in total, I acquired a number, I think 22? 22 books. Now, if you have been on a trip, on a foreign trip, you can imagine just how insane that sounds. Especially when you see soon uh, all the books that I acquired, they are big books, okay? <laughs> and yeah, I did face a dilemma, on how to actually bring this home because one luggage is not enough i don't even know where, i don't think two luggage were enough so i want to say thank you so much to the broken binding it is only because of them that these books were were, were able to be shipped uh, to my place because i wasn't able to bring them home and now i have all of them in my home now so let's talk about all the books that i bought first so originally i must say that i was very good at my self-control to not buy many books when I was in the UK. Before I went uh, to Worldcon, when I was still in London, I acquired only one book. Yes, only one book in London. And that is, ta-da, A Feast for Crows Folio Society Edition. So I bought this and I shipped it to my co-bloggers place. Uh, she lived in the UK, so I shipped it to her place first. And because shipping to my home and also paying for taxes are insanely expensive so i think even though this is costly i think it's the right time for me to buy it first so i can save on not paying for shipping fee and also taxes and so i got a copy of a feast for crows folio society edition it is absolutely stunning and not only that because i now uh, back then i had four books of the folio society edition well, my friend decided to send me a copy of A Dance of Dragons. A Dance of Dragons for the Society uh, edition. Uh, a Dance with Dragons, sorry. And yeah, this says, this means I now finally, after years, probably three or four years, I finally own the entire uh, Folio Society edition of A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. And I want to say thank you so much uh, to my friend. Uh, Adi Raven and also to Folio Society for sending me a copy of A Clash of Kings and also uh, Storm of Swords, the, th the second and the third book in the series. And Adi Raven sent me a copy of A Game of Thrones and A Dance with Dragons. So it is only thanks to them that I managed to complete this set because this is a very expensive set. But as I mentioned, I still stay true to my self-control and I did not buy anything else when I was in London for the first uh, three days? I think first three days or for the first four days. But anyway, after that, I went to Birmingham, as you can see uh, in my UK vlog videos. And in Birmingham, I went to Stratford-upon-Avon. And in, uh, in Stratford-upon-Avon, uh, which is known as Shakespeare's uh, birthplace, uh, there are a lot of uh, beautiful sighting in there. But I saw this bookstore. I went there with Anthony from Curious King. The name of the bookstore is Chaucer Hat bookstore inside there there was a lot of folio society books but i did not buy any folio society books when i was uh, in chaucer hat bookstore i however managed to acquire a copy of this series Ta-da! this is the conqueror series by khan eagleden or also known as the genghis khan uh, series and i got this all these hot covers all of them they are all first edition and i got this at second hand bookstore right so this one this hardcover, it costs only five pounds. This is the first book, Wolf of the Plains. And then after that, the second book is Lords of the Bow. And the third book is Bones of the Hills. And finally, the last book, and not the last book, but the fourth book in the series is Empire of Silver. So I got these four books at a total of 20 pounds, all of them first edition hardcover. And they are still in great condition. So yeah, I couldn't resist. This is one of my favorite historical fiction series, one of my favorite series, and of course I had to acquire them. So at this stage, I already started to feel like, okay, this self-control is starting to go away now. And then the next day after this trip, I finally went to Worldcon. And you know, at Worldcon, well, let's just say that every self-control 
failed. <laughs> there are so many books there and one of the things that I totally did not expect it is the existence of this absolutely gorgeous book. Tada! You, I don't think many of you might know about this or many of you unless you play uh, the From Software games such as Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and Sekiro. But this one is the collaboration between Vati Vidya, a very popular Dark Souls YouTuber, and also Tune and Fair Weather. And somehow Inkstone Books has this book in their inventory. So I saw it, and yeah, it is slightly damaged here. Tada, you can see it here, right? It is slightly damaged, but when I saw this, I knew I had to buy it. I just had to because it is actually impossible to ship a copy of Soul Arts to my home. Uh, from the official store of Tune and Fairweather, it is actually impossible. And I have always wanted this book for a long time now. For a long time. This is the first of many Tune and Fairweather books that I now own. And trust me, this one, it is just so gorgeous. Just take a look at this uh, end paper. And then, uh, of course, it is Smithsun binding. It has to be because every page here they are all filled with artworks like this one every page see absolutely stunning stunning production and yeah hopefully one day i can acquire more copy of tune and fairweather's production but i don't think that's happening anytime soon so what else another thing that i did not expect is that mary alice harrell she would be there at worldcon so of course when i went to her stand I bought a copy of Castle in the Air, Folio Society Edition. I haven't even read a House Moving Castle, but when I saw this one, well, I just had to buy something from her. I mean, she's there. So this one, this copy, it is personalized uh, by Mary Alice Harrell. And it was such a joy uh, to meet her there. She, done, she has done so many beautiful illustrations, including the art that she did for the House of Being Castle trilogy. It is unfortunate that House of Being Castle, someone got that already when I went to the stand. Otherwise, I would have bought a copy of House of Being Castle too. But anyway, this is still a great purchase. Next time, I don't know when, next time I go to the UK, I will be buying a, a House of Being Castle and also probably uh, the third book. Uh, the third book in the trilogy uh, from Folio Society. But anyway, this is such a beautiful acquisition. So yeah, this is not all. I still buy, uh, what else? Oh, this one. This is <laughs> Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. Now you might be wondering why I already own this for quite a while now. I even own two copies of Last Argument of Kings already. One is exactly this paperback uh, edition, but the other one, it is actually hardcover edition from the Broken Binding. But, well, Joe Abercrombie was there. I did not predict that I would meet him many times, so when I got the chance to go to his signing, I just buy this one from Golangstan, A Last Argument of Kings, to have him sign. And yeah, I got it. This one is signed. Hold on, let me show you this one. Say one thing for Patrick. Say he's a lover. So yeah, that's a good one, right? <laughs> if you have read the books, you will know the importance and also the how iconic uh, that code is. So yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase uh, as well. So for the rest, at Worldcon, there are still many books here. A few authors when I was at Worldcon also gave me some of their books. And well, this one is super exciting. This is A Song of Legends Lost by M. H. Ayinde. This is not an adventuring copy. This is a heat-bound, I think that's the name, a heat-bound copy. So it is not a great production, but it contains all the words, all the actual words from the adventuring copy of A Song of Legends Lost, an upcoming debut, uh, upcoming fantasy debut with a cover art by Richard Anderson that is due to be released in the year early 2025. And I'm excited to get around uh, to this one, but now I already have a very advanced reading copy uh, of A Song of Legends Lost. And I want to say thank you so much to M.H. Ainde for signing this uh, in front of me. One of the things that, again, make me feel so honored is that M.H. Ainde said that she has been a fan of my book reviews for many years and it makes her happy to see me. And, and in return, it also makes me happy to hear that and also to see her uh, sign this in front of me. So I look forward to reading this one. Uh, the cover art is gorgeous and she has mentioned, I think, that this is Final Fantasy and also Jojo Bizarre's Adventure uh, inspired. So I definitely look forward to reading A Song of Legends Lost. And then I finally met 
uh, Nicholas Eames for the first time, even though I have been friends with Nicholas Eames ever since I read uh, Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose. And now I finally have a copy, a hardcover copy of Bloody Rose. Yeah, gifted to me by Nicholas Eames himself. He brought this all the way from his place in Canada. And yeah, this is the Enderida edition. But you know, the, this Enderida edition, I'm quite surprised by the quality. This is still far from the quality of the Sonitor edition that they have now. It is not Smithson binding. It is still glued, as you can see here. And it is not acid-free paper. As you can see that the paper are, well, they're yellowing already. <laughs> but I'm still very happy to own a copy of Bloody Rose hardcover because for these many years, ever since I read Kings of the Wild, I always wanted a hardcover copy of Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose, but at least now I own one of them. At the front here, we actually have this beautiful, ta-da, beautiful artwork by Richard Anderson. And of course, this is personalized by Nicholas Eames himself. Ta-da, for Patrick from Nick, Glasgow 2024. So I will cherish this for sure. I'm not sure when I'll get to meet Nicholas Eames again, but it was such a joy to meet him again. And I will always wait for the release of the third book of the band trilogy. I think it will be an amazing conclusion to the trilogy whenever it's ready. And other than that, at Worldcon, I also, I think I got four more books. Uh, yeah, four more books. And this is from Adrian Gibson, hardcover edition of Mushroom Blues, his debut novel. And right now, this book is actually a finalist in SPFBO competition. I spent uh, quite plenty of time with Adrian Gibson when I was at Worldcon, and he's a great person. I look forward to reading his debut novel uh, as well. And that includes uh, this one. This is a debut novel from Joel, Joel F. Silva. Sorry if I mispronounced the name, but this is the hardcover edition of Seeds of War. I believe this is actually the Kickstarter hardcover edition. I just got it earlier, I guess, because I was there at Worldcon and he prepared a copy uh, for me. And yeah, it looks great. And I believe inside it contains uh, some beautiful black and white interior illustration. Let me try to find some of them for you here. One of the joy of going to Worldcon is really meeting a lot of people that I've talked to online for many years. And yeah, they are almost all of them, probably, probably all of them are better in person rather than uh, they are online. Not saying they are not uh, good online, but they are just better in more in person. Where the hell are these pictures really? Every time I try to find them, I cannot find them. So I did just pop this online. This is the pictures that you can see in this edition. And that includes the one in the second book, The Thorns of War as well. This is the sequel to The Seeds of War. And now I have bookmarked this. Yeah, this is uh, one of the interior illustrations inside Thorns of War. It is black and white, but I still think this looks great. And yeah, I haven't read this series yet, the Smokesmith series, but if you love, uh, I think, from what I've heard online, this is a great uh, character-driven fantasy with a fascinating magic system that relies on smoke. So yeah, I look forward to reading this series and I want to say thank you so much to Joel Silva for giving me a copy of Thoughts of War and also Seeds of War. And then just like the, all the books here, these are signed as well. Patrick, the legend, Leo, and also take a look at this uh, sword. <laughs> he drew this uh, in front of me. And for the last one, the last book that I got at Worldcon, it is a copy of Silence is Silver by Andrew Watson. So yeah, Andrew Watson also went to Worldcon and I think we spent dinner at an Indian restaurant, very delicious uh, Indian restaurant, and he also gave me a copy of his novella. I already own his debut novel, Harbinger of Justice, and yeah, this one is sent to me and also gifted to Chocoboy, Patrick and Chocoboy. So yeah, as you can tell, right, this is a lot of books and it's not all. These are just all from before Worldcon and then at Worldcon. And now let's talk about the last eight. These are when I went back from Worldcon and then I went to Orbit office. For the last eight books in today's haul video, these are from when I went to the Orbit office. I got invited uh, to Orbit, Orbit's office thanks to my, well, they want to say thank you so much for all the works that I have done in the bookish community, even though I have actually posted plenty of negative reviews for their books as well. So I think this is very professional and very kind of them. And I can only say thank you. And during that invitation, well, when I was there, when I was admiring those books, they also told me to take anything I want as long as I can bring them home. <laughs> yeah. So 
well, of course, I have to accept that, right? I will worry about bringing them home later. And so I got a copy of Tada, these three books. This is the three, I think, deluxe or collector edition of the first three books in the Expand series by James S. A. Corey. And the uh, Leviathan Wakes, Caliban's War, and also Abaddon's Gate. And they all come with this new and paper and reversible jacket of the original cover art by Daniel Doshu. And I think, I think I will use the reversible art. I tend to like, uh, not always, but I tend to like reversible art more than the standard, standard cover art. I don't know why it happens, but I just like not having text in my cover art. Yeah, I know that's a very unpopular opinion, but if I'm given the option, I tend to prefer not to have uh, text in the cover art. So yeah, those three, and then I also got a copy of between Dragons and Red by David Madsen. I have read many books by David Madsen. I hope, and I hope this one will be as good as We Ride the Storm, although that's a tall order because We Ride the Storm was so good. It was so good. And I really need to finish reading the Reborn Empire uh, Quartet. I have only read the first two books in the series. And then for the next three books that I got, they are all adventuring copy, but the first one, I think this is actually out already. This is Long Live Evil by Sarah Rhys Brennan. Sarah Rhys Brennan was at Worldcon as well. I did not get to see her. I did not get to see a lot of people that I want to see. And unfortunately, I did not manage to see Sarah Rhys Brennan when I was there as well. But I think uh, many have mentioned that this is quite an exciting debut. And in here it's written, it's time for your villain, villain era. And yeah, I don't know anything else about this one, including the next two. I just took them. And this is The Last Hour Between Worlds by Melissa Caruso. Orbit said that this will be a great one. And so I just, well, just took it. And then after that, this one is still a while. This will be out in May 2025. And I think Orbit is going big with this one. This has six wild crowns. Take a look at this. It's so shiny. And yeah, by Holy Race. And I think this is a debut novel as well. Look, it's so shiny, right? Ta-da. <laughs> and now to save the best. For last. It is a deluxe hardcover edition of Ruination. Yeah, Ruination by Anthony Reynolds, the first League of Legends novel, and it is so stunning, not gonna lie. See, look at this cover art. There is no text on it, and I think when it happens, the cover art can shine the most. Of course, it depends on the composition as well, but in this case, I think this looks better without any typography at all. The typography on the spine is more than enough because that's how we usually display them. Uh, anyway, and yeah, this is the back cover. This is the edges, and you know, this is actually an all-out production. The end paper and then all the interior artwork inside this, they are fully colored and they are so gorgeous. Here, I'll show you one or two of them here. This is the first interior illustration. This is Kalista and Vigo. Yeah, Kalista and Vigo when they were still young. And then these papers, they are so high quality and it's, it's a bit soon binding as well. It's just really an all art production. I wish, I wish more of our bit books or books really can be on this level of production even though I know that's super unlikely and super costly but I just think that this is so beautiful and I have read this book it is a great book and I think it's quite suitable to those of you who are new to the fantasy genre as well here this is another one of them see it's so beautiful right and there are about six or probably ten of the interior illustrations so yeah I got this one. I want to say thank you so much really uh, to Orbit for allowing me a copy of this deluxe hardcover edition. I love Ruination and I hope there will be more books in the League of Legends uh, series as well. And yeah, I look forward to watching Arcane in the month of November. So yeah, that concludes my UK vlog, UK trip uh, videos and also my UK book haul videos. And yeah, that's a lot of books, right? And again, I have... I can only say thank you so much to the authors, uh, to the Broken Binding, and also to Orbit for allowing me so, ma so many of these books home. And I look forward to reading the ones that I haven't read, although plenty of these are actually books that I have read and loved. So there is that. It doesn't increase my TBR pile uh, too much. I can, and I can only say thank you so much to every one of them. And yeah, uh, the next video after this one, it will be The Devils, uh, my review on The Devils. And I hope you will tune in on that one, even though the book is not out for quite a while yet. But anyway, do let me know what you think about all the books that I acquired in my UK trip. 
and let me know when you're on a trip do you buy a lot of books uh, as well and yeah that's pretty much it for me today as always thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support bye bye lastly i want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me